Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to our special report on the 11 megatrends of 2008. Now, this really was a year for fraud. In January, we had the biggest fraud in the history of banking. Jerome Curville at Societe Generale with 4.9 billion euros lost. And then in December, we had the biggest fraud in the history of the stock market. $50 billion US lost by Bernard Madoff with his own hedge fund. An amazing set of frauds. Starting off with Bernard Madoff in December uncovered as the man who ran a Ponzi scheme that took $50 billion off some of the world's most sophisticated investors, they thought. In an amazing sequence of events, he confessed to his sons in mid-December that he was, quote, finished, that he was running a, quote, giant Ponzi scheme, and that he had made losses totaling, quote, $50 billion US. It turned out his auditors, Freeling and Horowitz, were a two-man shop in the suburbs of New York with an office smaller than most people's bathrooms. No one went to visit it, apart from a guy in a pair of jeans and a tie-dyed shirt, once every couple of days. Obviously something was up. Some people knew about it and told other hedge funds who put money with Bernard Madoff, but he was very well respected, a chairman of NASDAQ. And now his reputation is in ruins and the life savings of thousands are gone. Back to France with Societe Generale and Jerome Curviel, a young man who became a trader on the derivatives desk for Societe Generale, who was tasked with very simple things, wasn't very well paid for it, just over 100,000 euros, which in Paris is not a lot, but it turned out he was digging himself deeper into a horrible situation where eventually Societe Generale had to spend 4.9 billion euros unravelling the trades that he put together without the approval of his superiors. He was arrested and eventually the government of France had to bail out Societe Generale, a shocking fraud which at that time seemed the worst it could possibly get. Then back in New Zealand, we've had our own examples of wrongdoing. Rod Petrichevich, the head of Bridgecorp, now faces allegations of dishonesty as a director. He's been bankrupted and is being investigated by the Serious Fraud Office. And Mark Bryars from Blue Chip, he's also being investigated and is likely to be bankrupted. My favourite, though, for the year was over in Australia with Opus Prime, the, the uh, margin lending company that collapsed in the middle of the year. Turns out that this company had taken money from gangland killers in Melbourne, who then sent one of their killers on the, on the trail of one of the, the heads of Opus Prime all the way to Singapore. There we have it, one of the megatrends of 2008, a year when fraud was the biggest it had ever been. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was one of the 11 megatrends of 2008, brought to you in association with ASB.